at this point i want us now to talk about the hind limbs or what we call the legs okay and uh we know that uh, there are two hind limbs uh which we also refer to as uh the legs and uh, the hind limbs have uh, four or rather five types of bones okay the first bone the uppermost bone which articulates with the pelvic girdle is a bone known as femur also known as a thigh bone and uh, and femur articulates with tibia and fibula which forms the lower leg okay and then between the two there is another small bone known as patera or kneecap and then we at the distal edge of the fibia and tibula we have a uh, a number of bones which uh, which are referred to as tarsals okay so the distal edge of the fibia and tibula articulates with the tarsals okay uh, and the tarsals are the the the, the bones that uh, are connected to the to the foot okay then next to the tarsals we have the metatarsals and the uh, metatarsals are longer okay they are longer in size and then we have the last group of bones that form the hind rib known as phalanges in man these are the bones that form the toes and in man they are 14 in rabbits they they are 12 okay so these are the various uh, types of bone that form the hind limb so after mentioning those bones i want us to take each one of them and say something about about them so the first one is known as femur in the bone i have displayed femur for you and if you look at it closely you find that uh, it uh, resembles a humerus which is found in the forelimb and uh, you find that it has almost similar features but if you are keen you note that there is slight difference between femur and the humerus okay so you find that it has a head uh, there is also the shaft then we have the distal head which has caudals just like in humerus and uh, on the board again i have displayed the various parts of the 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 femur uh, and we noted that the head of the femur articulates with the acetabulum of the pelvic girdle we have already said this and then uh, we need to note that uh, below the femur we have a tiny bone there known as patella which uh, of course articulates with the uh, with the femur on the upper side and it also articulates with the tibia and fibula on the lower side then the two other bones below the patera and below the femur are the tibia and fibula and then we have the tarsals the metatarsals and then we have the phalanges so i hope uh, that one is very clear so we start with our bone femur this is a long bone what we refer to as the thigh bone and it's be found between the hip and the knee and uh, it has a lauded head okay which fits into the astabulum or the pelvic gill forming ball and socket joint of the hip